Hello, my name is Richard Brown. I am the director of Tech Career Pathways and Apprenticeship with Knox Street Studios. And this is Tech Bridge. Tech Bridge is a space where we try to increase our technical know-how and productivity. And today, our focus is going to be databases. We're gonna drill down into a specific database, Audible. In, in, our, in the past videos, we've done the Google search, we've done Durham Public, Web, uh, Durham Public website, and then we did Hoopla, um, also off of the Durham Public website. And Audible is off the Durham Public website. Thank you for checking us out. back so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of run through it pretty quickly we're going to go to Durham Public School we're going to click on the home page and then we're going to click on students and then we're going to click on audible stories for kids right here the kind of the second tab all right and so as you can see while the schools are closed, Audible is really hooking us up and giving us access to a portion of their database. So we click on uh, start listening. All right, so a couple of different places in here I wanna call your attention to. Um, clearly, um, as with every other database that we've looked at, there's different filters that we can use in order to try to capture the information that we're really interested in. And so, so one of the things that I would highly encourage you all to do is, let's start with little listeners. So little listeners are gonna be probably your pre-K, um, depending on how much your individual um, child or student listens. All right, so let's uh, ugly duckling um, collection. So again, you just click on it. And after you click on it, you can start listening. Down here at the bottom, you can increase the speed. Clearly, we probably wouldn't want to do that for early listeners. We can go by chapters right here. We can actually go back, start it, and pause it right here. Um, and then with this button or with this button, either one of these, we can head back to where we were. Notice there's about 38 books under little listeners. Um, and so we start out with little listeners. Then we're going to move right into uh, elementary. So get a little bit older and you can kind of see that the books and in here, notice there's about 104 books. Now, of course, you can subscribe to Audible and you have a much, much broader database. But again, this is really geared towards kids and very young toddlers. Now, now note, some of these books are only available on Audible. Some of them are um, available on other formats. And so you can kind of see. So let's say, ooh, The Golden Goblin. I remember that. So it also, so notice that it gives you the name of the book. It gives you who's written by, who's narrating it, as well as the length. So this particular book is seven hours and 36 minutes, right? It gives you a synopsis, some reviews by other people, quite a few reviews, and then all of the um, controls are down here at the bottom playing it, going back, speeding it up, chapter, and then you can do full screen. Now, these are things that you can do while you're doing other things. Um, I will show this uh, later, but for me in, in my house, I have what's called one of those smart speakers, and you can download a little link 
to send the sound to the smart speaker. So you can be um, doing other things while this is happening, or you can have this as your focus. Um, all right, so we'll go back one more time. Um, same thing with tweens, 42 books, not quite elementary kids, not teens. Here, all of the same um, controls down at the bottom. And then, of course, you have your teens. Uh, much more complicated stuff, 69 books within the teen space that you can get. Um, note some of them, uh, CCS Lewis, uh, Rogue, um, who else? Yes, H.P. Lovecraft, ooh, going dark on us, okay. Now, uh, of course there are literary classics, um, but the other one that I wanted to really mention to you all is the foreign language books, especially if you're home and this is a great time to start to train your ear by using some of the foreign language books. And some of them are pretty simple, like uh, Detective Pocayo. Mm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and the, the other thing that you may want to try to do is, is try to get the book in English and Spanish and go through it with your, um, your little one um, or even your teenager, because these these are so simple of books and you get the rhythm, you, you get an understanding about what's happening. So action item. So let me back up. So what we've done today, we drill down into the Audible website, really, really cool website, really, really great opportunity while we are um, in this space to really get a feel for what this database offers to us as, as individuals, as students, as lifelong learners. The other thing is the action item that I'd like for you to do is to leave a comment, let me know what you think, and then pick out one of the books and let's talk about it. Shoot me an email, shoot me a comment down below, or what have you, but just let me know. I'd be highly curious as to which books are you interested in? What worked, what didn't work? And as always, if you have other comments or questions or other type of tech that would you like to see, I would love to love to hear from you and then we can move forward um, and I can work on that. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day.